Dirt and Biscuit. 2006, he goes on a trip. 2011, he wins the church. Sports fans, sports fans, sports fans, let's talk sports. Dirk Nowitzki is retiring this year. He's had great accomplishments. Paul, the, one of the greatest European players I've ever seen in basketball. He <laughs> didn't have it so easy. 2006 MVP lost to the championship to the Miami Heat. Goes on a trip, tries to refresh his mind, tries to relax, tries a little bit of European basketball to get himself, well, get himself back where he was, where he could be a great basketball player again. 2011 comes up. Greatest, just astonishing, the run they had. And the shot that Dirk had. One legged shot. And what he did in that game is it's going to be the record books. He is an instant Hall of Famer. No doubt about it. And how did he get 41? Listening to a 1510 to take it. I love that station. It's a good station. Everybody should listen to it. The ticket.com. I'm not trying to. They're not promoting it again. They're promoting 1310 to take it. But, anyways, he was originally 11. He had 14, he wanted 14 when he came to, to the NBA. He watched Charles Barkley play in the European, well, the dream team. If we all, 90s, remember all that. And I especially remember that. And he was astonished how good Charles Barkley was and how Charles Barkley could just dominate. So, he was like, hmm, I'm on 14. But, somebody on the other team had it. He said, no, 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 this is my number. Dirk asked him, can we shoot for it? No. Can we play horse for it? Can we play any kind of game that we could play for that number? No? Alright, fine. We just switch it around. 41. And he was thinking, maybe... I should change it when he got the chance to, but it was so established that he kept it. And I think that's pretty cool. So, so Dirk, this is your last year, man. Thank you for all the memories. Thank you for just blowing our minds. You were a dunker. You were a, a, just a man that could shoot the ball and get your shot when you need it, and you were one of the, I have to say, all-time greats of ever. Now, I'm not going to say there's not other all-time greats of the Dallas Mavericks, but in this generation of the Mavericks, he was one of the great. He was 1996. He was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks. Dallas Mavericks made a deal. They got him. And it was the best deal the Mavericks ever did. Loyalty to the team. You don't see a lot of that. But that's what Dirk is. A loyal to the team, man. He, he's not looking for, hey, you, you can have my, you want to buy the Dudzinski pants and shirts and shorts and shoes and hat and gloves and everything I can think of that I can put my name on. No. 
It's not about the money for Dirk. It's about playing basketball in a great state. As a great things he has accomplished and doubts. And just him running the right into the, the sunset. Maybe you get a chance to be in the playoffs. And I'm not going to say that they could win it all in the playoffs. But they could do something. I'm not going to say they're going to beat Golden State because there's no possible way on how good Golden State is. But Dallas Mavericks can do something. Luka Dokovic and wow, the new look Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki seems like a dangerous, hungry team to me. And all I, was, all I can say is, Dirk, thank you, the Germinator. Now, right in, Jimmy Ward, the jump curry, come back. My button that's great, but they have a good day. If you smile, if you laugh, if you want to comment, or tell me what you think about Dirk Nowitzki. Thank you.